Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Penn, and in this video, I'm going to be showcasing how to enable setup Dolby Vision HDR up to 4K at 60 Hertz with um, the best possible audio quality that your system can output on the NVIDIA Shield Pro 2019. So let's get started. This is pretty much um, the home screen of the shield. I'm going to go all the way into the right until you see settings. Now I'm going to go into device preferences. I'm going to go into display and sound. So I set the resolution to 4K 59.940 Hertz. Essentially, um, it's going to be outputting Adobe Vision and HDR 10 ready um, type of situation. Um, this is the most ideal in terms of the entertainment and the content. And you want to enable Adobe Vision. I do have the AI upscaling enabled, AI enhance, and I have it at medium default. Um, this definitely can make a difference in the sharpness and the clarity of the picture. So that's always cool to have. Advanced display settings. I have match content color space uh, enabled and I do have display HDR content when available. Everything else is default or grayed out. Want to head down into the advanced sound settings. You want to make sure that the audio output is auto. And if you feel that I am going too fast, you can always slow down the video or you can pause and do what you have to do. USB audio mode, surround sound. And available formats, I have that set to auto. Use the formats your audio device reports supporting, recommended. Um, so of course, I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you have the compatible equipment, not the best equipment, just compatible equipment. Dolby Vision, and you know a uh, sound setup that can support the major audio codex that's out today and stereo up mix up mix my stereo streams to 5.1 pco i do have that enabled i do like that surround effect okay so i'm going to be using plex for this um mainly popular it all comes down in the settings. Won't be going over how to get content, any of that. Not the purpose of this demonstration. I'm going to be going all the way down until I get to settings. And the experience section and the parent is not going to matter as much. But what does matter is this video quality section. Might want to pause here, take some notes. Home streaming maximum. Quality suggestions on. Uh, this is more for remote quality, but I have that unlimited as well. Audio set to original. Video, in case you're watching content with subtitles. I do watch anime that will include subtitles. Um, English translated. So I'll put the only image formats, but you can't go wrong with automatic. It's just that in the past, I have noticed transcoding on the server where it would not play natively as it's supposed to. Um, if I can break that down, um, perhaps I'll do a video on that later on. Display information on, just so you can see the overlay. Subtitles would be personal preference. The most important thing here, and this is what I mean by compatible equipment, um, you want to set this pass through that default is going to be disabled. Um, you want to set this to either HDMI or optical, depending on your situation. I have a HDMI setup. Once you set it to HDMI, that audio is going to pass through. This is one of the major differences between the NVIDIA Shield versus um, other media streamers on the market. Notice how I said media streamers and not media boxes or dedicated home theater boxes. Um, this is what sets it apart. The best stream, the pass through audio. 
you want the refresh rate switching to be on. Reason being is because a lot of these new panels have 120 hertz, things like that. Um, it's just different technologies built inside of them. And you want to match the content in terms of the frame rate and sync it to your television so that everything is playing back properly. Um, resolution switching wouldn't be needed. Let your TV upscale um, as it needs to. And everything else, I have share crash reports off. Everything else is default. All right, so that's about it. That's how you get a proper setup under NVIDIA Shield, um, Dolby Vision, HDR, um, pass through the audio that you would need and um, showcased it in Plex. So if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Until next time, this is Penn. Thank you for watching and peace out.